Welcome back if you're a fan of the channel, and hey, welcome if you're new here. Shredded Fable has given us a ton of new poison cards. The whole set kind of centers itself around poison. And if you've been around the channel for a while, you know that I like to make poison decks. So here's the new ultimate poison deck that I've cooked up. It centers around Pokemon that are new to Shredded Fable, like the Baby Petron, Petron EX, and Okie Dokie EX. Comboing Radiant, Sneasler, Brute Bonnet, and Baby Petron, we can now hit for about 10 poison counters per turn. Actually, a little bit more if we can get Perilous Jungle in play. And the other big poison card coming from this set is Binding Mochi. It allows you to hit for 40 more damage if you're uh, Pokemon in the active is poisoned. So this makes Okie Doki, who already can hit for 130 more if it's poisoned, hit for 300 damage. Now if you throw poison in there, and you have Radiant Sneasler, you can actually take out a Charizard in one hit. I think this deck is super fun, it's super fast. You can find the full deck list in the description below. If you guys are looking for some awesome TCG products, go ahead and check out Heavy Play. Their Equip Mag system makes it so that your deck box, your play mat, your dice box all connect to each other. It makes traveling super easy. It makes setting up super easy. Uh, and it's one of my favorite products that I've, I've picked up, and I'm super happy to work with them. So you can find the link in the description. Use code MENACE10 at checkout. Save yourself 10% off. And if you're looking for any sealed product, head over to Rare Candy. New customers can get themselves 10% off if you use code MENACE10. So let's go ahead and get some games and see what this Poison deck can do. We win the talk. So we are going to opt to go second to see if we can get Okie Doki to be able to uh, attack on turn one with Janine's Secret Art uh, and Energy Switch and Petroni X. We have a lot of uh, a lot of outs. So I actually like this starting hand because we can uh, Nest Ball here or we can Ultra Ball here for um, we can Ultra Ball here for Squawk, and I think getting these two on the bench plus Squawk could be really good. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to take a two Prizer, so. Let's see. There is also a world here where we actually just Ultra Ball for um, Brute Bonnet to get to get 60 damage here. I don't think that's as good. I think we probably just want to... I think we want Squawk. So We do find an energy switch. Unfortunately, no energy to do said energy switch with uh, is what it is. I think it matters the cards that we throw away here since we are just going to squawk. Let's just attach the mochi. Might as well, right? Go ahead and squawk and seize. We do hit a Janine's secret art. The only thing that we're missing here is um, energy switch. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, we could take a KO. No, we would hit for 60, 10, 60. Wait, we actually can take a KO here. Do we want to Janine's Secret Art? Let's do Janine's Secret Art onto these two. Sneasler. Uh, and then let's just go ahead and take this KO. I, I don't know about this, but eight damage counters on a poison feels really good. So, um, we're gonna take a prize. Now, look, I, I can 100% understand that that's, this is probably not the right play, uh, especially against Charizard with Duskull. Um, but to be able to have eight damage counters there, or poison counters, I, I kind of like that. I kind of enjoyed it. Um, Let's see. Let's see if it bites me in the butt, though. Pidgey just went down, so that's good, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Let's see what they grab. If they grab Dusk. Oh, okay, so we're going to see a Charizard. Um, does he pull up Petra on EX here? does or squawk yeah petron x that makes sense well we have night stretcher we'll just go ahead and grab that back um is there a world though where we can hit for the appropriate amount yeah i don't know if there is another okie dokie uh us hitting Poison Chain here isn't terrible. Um, can do that. Mm. 
Perilous Jungle doesn't do anything. So we would drop eight damage counters onto the Charizard EX. Uh, let's call Rish's Tenacity really quick, just to grab this. Two, four, five. So that's all the energy that we have. That means we have three energy prize. That's crazy. Drop another Okie Dokie. And then I honestly, I think we just Poison Chain. Um, eight damage counters. This is going to make it so that if we do get KO'd here, which I think we should expect, I guess there is a world where he like Duskull bosses KOs. Yeah, he could do that. That is possible. Um, but let's see. Let's see what he pulls off here. If he doesn't move the Charizard out of the active, another eight damage counters are going to go on. Oh, he can't move it out of the active. Right. It cannot retreat. So he would have to, like, Prime Catcher or Switch Card, which I don't think Charizard plays any Switch Cards anymore. So pretty good for us. And if we don't see a Pidgeot here, I kind of like the position that we're in. And what this Night Stretcher is going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to get Petra on EX back, so then we can go ahead and get our... He does play a Switch card! What?! That's crazy. I did not think that they played Switch cards. That's wild. Yeah, I guess you don't. You never know. So we can go ahead and, and just go ahead and chain again. Um, there's not really a need for us to... Ooh, actually, no. I lied. We should go ahead and counter catch her. We have it. Might as well use it. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a booster capsule. Let's go ahead, Night Stretcher. Go ahead and grab Petroni X. Do that. Counter catch her U. Petronaut EX. In to the Okie Dokie. 300 damage. And then with the Sneasler. We would actually go ahead and put some more damage counters. Uh, oh wait, we don't have uh, we don't have Bonnet. Never mind. But there's Bonnet. So now you know if we get this Okie Dokie going, we with this combo, we can one shot a uh, we can one shot a, uh, a a Charizard, which is pretty sick. So there's another Charizard EX. Yep, Okie Dokie is going to die. It is what it is. We expect it. Ultra Ball, okay. I'm curious if he has... Okay, so Dusclops, interesting. If he uses Dusclops here, Naples is on a two prize kind of bend here. Um, I think the thing... Huh, interesting, okay. I guess there's a couple of things that he could be doing. But let's see what we can do. We can drop Root Bonnet. Bosses orders into Rotom and then chain it down. What do we think about that? What do we think about that? And then use Poison Chain to just keep it there. I kind of like that. With Perilous Jungle, that will also do a little bit more damage. Um, and then honestly, I think we just build Petron. Petron EX should be enough to take a KO later. And I think we want to keep this bench space open for... I think we potentially want to keep this bench space open for Fez or something like that. Um, there is a world we can lose here off of this turn. Um, he could potentially... 10 damage counters. We just actually KO if he can't get this out of the active. I didn't realize that. But he could with Dusclops. Oh, no, we don't actually win. Sorry, we are short. Dusnor. Okay, 130 here. He can't retreat. I will take the KO. I will also take a KO. Does he have it? Uh, I guess we just go into to Petrant. Uh, the damage counters does drop, so this won't actually get the this won't actually get KO'd. Um, so we do need an energy. We do need something. 
He needs something to take some damage here. Well, actually, if he doesn't get out of the active, um, he can't get out of the active, then we could actually just pass our turn, and that will do 60. So, or that will do, that will do another uh, a 10 damage counters. 10 going into my turn, 10 going back into him. He's just going to instant charge. So, that's actually just game. <laughs> Even if we don't find the energy. Um, wow. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't think, there's a concede, I did not think that the baby Petron's attack was going to be as good as, as it is. But with decks that don't run as many switch cards... It's pretty sick. So, okay, cool. Let's go ahead and let's find another game. We win the toss. We are actually going to defer to go second. Uh, like I said, okie dokie turn one is the goal. But as I found out last game, baby Petrant, uh is is a pretty good play. This is an interesting hand. I think we want to go into Petron EX. I think we want to try to get this dark patch on to this okie dokie. Um... And I think, I actually think what I want to do here is I want to grab Brute Bonnet and a, uh, actually no, I probably, I probably Ultra Ball for Squawk. That's probably the better play. Uh, yeah, I don't know, actually, because then we, then we have to, uh, then we have to throw a Prime Catcher. Uh, tough choice, tough choice. Let's see what we're playing up against. Oh, Ogre Pond, okay. Could be Raging Bolt, could be, oh, Bug Catcher set. This could just be Teal Mask Ogre Pond. Oh, Sinistic, okay. Luckily, we are not weak to grass, thankfully. Thankfully, these are, are weak to uh, to fighting, so. Sinistic is uh, a, car, a deck that I've not really played much against, so. Oh, three teal masks or three teal dances off the rip. Um, geez, okay. There's a lot of energy on the board for our opponent as long as Pokemon on the bench put all damage and effects of your opponents. Okay, sounds good. Okay, two energy. What is the what would we need for potentially for the third here? Uh, we need another dark batch. Doesn't really make sense. So let's drop Okie Dokie. Let's go ahead and. Ultra Ball Capsule. Ultra Ball away. You know what? I think we squawk here. I, I think we are just going to have to sacrifice Prime Catcher. As sad as it is, I think squawk is the is the better play. Um, grab squawk. Let's go ahead and Dark Patch on to the Okie Dokie. Attach the second energy onto Okie Dokie. Um, actually, if we hit if we hit Janine's secret, we have a KO. So let's actually use it. And now let's squawk. We're looking for Janine's secret. Secret art. There it is. Oh, we used Tyler. Ay ay ay. We already used. I forgot. We already used uh, Arvin for turn. Oops. Go ahead and put some energy on. I guess there's a world where he does take a KO. And then we just threw. But I should have taken the one with one energy now that I'm looking back on it. But let's see. 230 is the magic number that they that they would need. Um, I guess Bug Catcher set could get them that energy. But they've used two already, so we might be okay. Uh, we don't even need Mochi. Thankfully, but we do have Janine's secret art to get us potentially get us there. So let's see. Let's see if our opponent is able to do it. I'm just gonna research a small little bonus going. Jeez. Oh. Oh, that's only 180. Never mind. I thought this was like wordier for a second. Sinistich EX. What does this one do? Put four damage counters on your opponent any way you like. Discard three. 70 damage for each card. Use card this way. Wow, 210. 
So this should hit for 150, 180, 210. Wait, 150, 180, 210, 240. Oh wait, did we just die? Did I mess up? Oh, I can drop Fez. My build had some dark patches. catcher here did i misread this what is it isn't it 150 it's 30 60 90 120 oh 150 180 okay okay he was short okay hmm interesting okay so i can secret art here uh I think I'm going to... Oh, we have both of our... Ooh, interesting. We have both of our... Um, Petron. The baby Petron. Surprise. Um, I think we're just going to poison this here. I think we're just going to poison it. We should get some energy onto the board. Doesn't really make sense for us not to. Get Sneasler down. Actually, we should save this for the next turn, now that I'm thinking about it. Just got a Toxic Powder. It's just going to take the KO. It, it's not really, like, the most ideal situation. Um, but we don't really need to do a whole lot. If he does take the KO on a Petrant, uh, you know, we, we can go into Okie Doki. Um... Stuff like that so oh there's our baby petron who honestly might be the superstar of this deck might want to run more of these i'm running two at the moment but i could definitely see bumping up to three potentially four and you can't take the ko here with spill the tea um But that's okay, actually. I'm a, I'm a, it's not the end of the world, really. Um, research away. And I guess we have two options here um, in terms of, like, taking KOs. Um, we can either go into the Petrant and then try to find like a switch card out like this Radiant Hisu Hisuian just just you know retreat out uh off Janine's secret um and then just let Petrant take the KO and then try to line up two two prizes that's probably the best case scenario for us um but that's if he has the energy here if he doesn't have the energy then we probably just oh that that's probably gonna yeah that's probably gonna get it Oh, no, just Pokemon. Oh, from your Pokemon. Oh, 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 he has it. Okay, okay. All right, so, yeah, okay. So those are our options. If we find... We need a Gust. That's the thing. We are playing a boss, and we're playing Counter Catcher. I'm curious if we just Fez here and uh, try to take the KO that way. We're gonna try to go all in on the... Uh... We're gonna try to go all in on... It's not able to find it. Unfortunate for us. Um, I 
We actually don't need to poison ourselves. We can just smack it for, yeah. And then he won't have a KO. So actually, I think we're okay. Um, do we just need secret art here? How much energy are we looking at? Three, four. Let's save. Let's save secret art for when we need it. And let's just go ahead and chain graze. You know, he, he can boss KO, KO, right? So. Hand disruption might actually be really big if we can find it. So gusts are obviously bad. The Defiance Band isn't going to kick in because we're tied on prizes. It's solid for us. But we need gusts of our own. We need to be able to find a boss or something. Because we can't just go 1-1-1 one, one, one all the way down the road. So. And we still do have this option for Petrant to be able to help us out here. Um, you know, if this does get KO'd. The issue is we kind of put ourselves in a spot with the bench space because we don't really have an out to get Petron into the active. I guess, like I said, I could attach. I, yeah, that's probably still not a bad play, actually. Attach to Hisuian and use their retreat, then use Dark Patch to, like, really capitalize on that energy. But we don't die here. This, this Okie Dokie doesn't die here. So, so far, so good. It's just a gust that we are in danger of. Uh, 210 here is probably the ideal target for our opponent. Nah, there's the boss. Okay. So I think we go into Sneasler. I think we go into Sneasler. Oh, yeah, we go into Sneasler. If we find a gust, then we just take... Uh, we take two prizes. We just like KO, take two prizes, and then just pray they don't have a gust. Because they cannot KO an Okie Dokie at the moment. If we don't find a gust, I think we should go into Petron, use Petron to take a KO, and then go from there. And then just also, again, pray they don't have a gust. But Sneasler has the, is tied with Squawk for the least uh, retreat. So let's go into that. Janine's secret art is unfortunately not it. We'll grab these. We do have some energy. Oh, I'm realizing we have no energy into the discard. Hmm, this is a problem. This is a problem. So I think we just have to uh, go into this. Go ahead and capitalize on this energy, I think. And then just pray that they don't have a boss. Um, us not being able to find a... Uh, yeah, us not being able to find a um, a gust here has really kind of hurt us. So, take our one prize. It's another brute bonnet who we just don't we don't need. We don't need. And I guess he could just get the job done with this if he has the energy. 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, 210. I don't think Ursaluna gets there. I also don't know how much energy this deck runs. Oh, that's a lot of energy. Okay. They could Teal Mask attach. 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, 210, 240. Yeah, that's it. Dang. I just, just the lack of gusts, it kind of hurts, kind of hurts. And I think having to use Prime Catcher so early 
really hurt us. And I also think the the poor bench space on my part, right? The th- this is probably not a combo that was needed. To take the thirty early was not 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 worth it. So it's unfortunate. I think I think there's I think there's some perks to this deck. I think there's some upsides, but you got to be careful with your bench space. And then you also uh, y- you also really need Petron EX, right? You see how poorly the deck does without Petra on EX. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think. I think being able to hit for 10 damage counters uh, for poison, uh, Petra on EX's lock ability, or Petra on, the baby Petra on's lock ability is super good. Um, and I think this deck is, I think it's fun. It's not competitively valuable, but I think it is It is pretty fun. So I think if you tried to play this as more of a lockdown deck and less of Okie Doki smacking you in the face, maybe there's something there, eerie. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I really do enjoy poison decks, poison decks, and this set uh, obviously gave us a whole new bunch of toys to play with. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next week for another something. I haven't decided yet. We'll see you then.